sometimes you, you got those visible demons that just kept coming back while you pray about it and it seems it goes away but there it comes back again we are carrying situation we are carrying circumstances we are carrying problems drug addiction problems money problems marital problems you got the victory then it come back but there is a fast that you can go on fasting that i believe will kill the fly say amen to that amen. it must kill the fly this week by god's grace by the anointing that god has released upon our lives we are going to pray and fast to kill the flies Jesus. in the name of Jesus. Amen. I want you to decree that I reject, I reject every spirit of flies, every spirit of flies, every spirit of visible, every spirit of visible. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, and I welcome the power of God. And I welcome the power of God in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I don't say I'm tired of fasting. It doesn't work that way. Amen. The Bible says when Jesus fasted and prayed, I believe for 40 days, I believe Jesus was saying not only will you kill the flies that were present, but you will also kill their eggs, which represent the generations of that stuff. You see, the generation of things that keep reoccurring in your family could be stopped if you keep praying. If you keep warring, that's why from time to time we engage every year seven days prayer and fasting because the eggs keep hatching. The generation after generation curses, ancestral curses, familiar spirit curses, demonic forces in your family. They keep reoccurring from time to time. And so you need that perseverance, hallelujah, Amen. to defeat all those flies and their eggs. I know some people do overthrow just the flies, but we are targeting the source, the eggs. They are not going to hatch again. Amen. Amen. So, you know, the demonic assignment on your family can be broken through fasting and prayer. Now, Today, saints don't talk about fasting anymore. You see, there is nothing fun about going about food, going without food. But I'm talking, I'm telling you, when I begin to do it, God's presence begin to come. Now, in Proverbs, the Bible says, where the stalls is clean, there is no ox. You see, an ox is a power animal. Some churches don't want clean stalls. Uh, we, we, we don't want the power of God. They don't want it. So fasting and prayer normally is released to cause a mess in the enemy's camp. Amen? Amen. But, you know, the enemy at times is so subtle and cunning to the standard of times. The enemy invades the church and prevent the church from undergoing constant what? Prayer and fasting. And so, the, and so, and so, and so, uh, we don't have an ox. We, we don't have any power in the church because when there is power in the church, it will mess up praise and worship. Sometimes it will mess up your sermons. It will mess up once in a while. So in this hour, we need the power of the Holy Spirit back in the churches. And I believe the churches will fast and pray. And that's why this week we are going to spend part of our prayer sessions praying for the church. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We need to pray for the church because that's what the demons are saying. They are saying that we don't need your prayer. We don't need uh, your fasting. We don't need this and that and that because it's going to mess up our demonic programs in the church. So in this hour, we need the power of the Holy Spirit back in the church. That's why. So you can do seven-day total fast, drink water and juice, and later 
and then continue doing it. I mean, we have done here first was eating vegetables only, so you can engage in that one too. Now, before Israel was about to go into the promised land, Joshua told them, you have not passed this way before. And God said, before you go, certify yourself. Call a fast. And I want you to call a fast. Because he says, I'm going to do a new thing. But by then, the new must be circumcised. The new, you see, every time. You see, when we, we talk about fasting, it also has to do with the fact that the, the new that you are going to receive must be circumcised. At times, when God wants to give you something new, God must circumcise that thing. At times, you need a new heart. The other day, I was there when I realized that God has given me an okay heart, a good heart to handle certain issues. But when God said, I'm going to do this new thing, he says, my servant, unless I circumcise your heart concerning this thing, else the same thing can provoke you to go beyond and cause problem for you. So at times, you need a new heart. Hallelujah. Amen. For a new stuff. Oh Lord, give us the insight. We need understanding. Else we mess things up. Amen. Amen. So circumcision refers to cutting away of the flesh and you go to deal with the flesh. Maybe you get addictions, got problems with smoking, eating disorders, gossiping, jealousy, whatever. And God says, I'm going to give you a new heart for what? He says, I'm going to take away the envy. Now I'm going to give you a spirit of kindness. Amen. It means you need a good heart for that. As you, 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 you do some kind stuff to people and they will turn against you. It does happen in life. So there is something about fasting that sharpens your knife to cut the flesh problem away. That flesh that keep enslaving you, that habitual behavior and problem in your life, when you fast, you get the victory. Now the power to cut that flesh problem loose so that you'll be free, so that you can go into the year or you can end this year and then go into the next year with liberty from all entanglement. My dear brother, my dear, my dear sister, has to do with this prayer and fasting. So fasting goes with prayer. When somebody is fasting, he or she is in communion with God. Else, that person is dieting. I pray that you never, never enter into a time of dieting. Rather, you enter into a time of fasting. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, Father God Almighty, I pray that your children's health will spring forth speedily. May, Lord, this time of prayer be our complete healing. I ask you, oh God, to open up the windows of heaven and pour out your spirit upon us, oh God. Lord, let your people hear your voice to the solemn assemble of fasting and see miracles. I want you to prophesy right now in the name of Jesus that then the angels of the living God roll away every stone of hindrance to the manifestations of your breakthrough. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh, I want you to pray. Come on. Come on. Pray. Pray against any entanglement. Shut up the humble. We are going to pray and avenge our adversary speedily in the name of Jesus. We are going to refuse to agree with our enemies. Listen, I know what prayer does. It seems some of you, you don't see. When you pray, you don't have the eyes to see that I pray yesterday. This has happened. 
I want you to get to that level where you see, you see things happening. The other day, well, those of you who came in late, I told them that very Saturday when I was mentioning your name and then we we're praying this morning, I received a text message that a miracle has happened. So when I pray, I see. Now, you, if you are not in that level, you are in trouble. At time, even when you appear before God, as if you have been beaten in the realms of the spirit, you need to see, you need to take the Bible and then do study, read, meditate for your inner man to be strong. Amen. Amen. So that every day you'll be on fire. You see things happening. It's not about, I want this, God gave it to me. Don't walk with God expecting car, expecting money. No, that's not what I mean. Prayer is about. Prayer is about tapping into the realms of the spirit, spiritual things. Hallelujah. Yeah. That's why it says, You are blessed. Huh? In what? Huh? Oh, let me hear you. In what? In what? Not on earthly places. There's something wrong with the Ghanaian Christian. These are fake teachings that have destroyed your faith. Every time you hear people he's saying, I've received this, I received this, I'm tired of those things. He says, You have been blessed with what? Spiritual heart. And what? So, why do you behave like that? Anytime. The militant soldier takes his spiritual uniform. He knew how to be elect. So we are going to pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Say, Lord, Lord, hasten your way, hasten your way to perform, to perform miracles, miracles in every department, in every department of, my life. of my life. You see the statement that I've made, it has happened. But if I have anger in me, if I have a negative things in me, it can't work because my power is in, I've invested my power in those anger and negative things. That's why some of you, when you pray, it doesn't work. You have to get out from that lane and then enter into a place where your spirit is so clear about everybody. Clean mind. And then you begin to see things happening in the realms of the spirit. You people like investing your, 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 your authority and power in anger and all those things. You sit somewhere angry, meaning I your car, you know, I don't. No! Get out from that lane as you die spiritually. Listen, the enemy can target those areas of her, hit you hard with arrows. And one day stroke, you are down and you are gone. That's why a lot of people, they got sick, serious sicknesses. Always manifestations. You need to get out from that territory and be a vessel of God. He says, in the end time, God says, you'll be seeking those, those, who worship him in spirit and what? Not in spirit and lies. Then why will you come here? You come here because you are here to pray. Hallelujah. Yeah. So if you want God to hasten his word to perform miracles, if you want God to avenge you of your adversary speedily in Jesus' name, then I refuse to agree with the enemies of your progress by not allowing weakness, negative thoughts. Wake up in the morning. Take the Bible. Do Bible studies. Don't read it. Don't spend too much time on that daily testing. After that one is just the beginning. Spend time. And you see activation of God's power. I want you to pray. The Lord, I'm ready for the fast. I'm ready for, for the prayer. The prayer and fasting. So release your anointing. And prepare me to wait on you. 
begin to pray. about my ministry. I don't know yours. So you are going to activate that prayer promise in your life. Lord God. Lord God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I desire. I desire. Breakthrough. Breakthrough. Concerning. Concerning. My ministry. My ministry. Lord God. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I desire great truth. I desire great truth concerning my ministry. Oh Lord God, oh Lord God, I desire my great truth. I desire my great truth concerning concerning my deliverance ministry. Oh Lord God. Oh Lord God, I desire breakthrough. I desire breakthrough concerning my preaching ministry. Oh Lord God, Oh Lord God, I desire, I desire my breakthrough, my breakthrough concerning, concerning my counseling ministry. In the name of Jesus, that's why the enemy attack you in dreams and beat you. And then put all those things garbage in you so that you come here every day for manifestation. Because your mind and your eyes are on, I want these physical things. I want to buy this. I want money, 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 money. And those things, you're never going to enjoy it unless you have liberty in the realms of the spirit. Else, the enemy will never allow you. The enemy will always target you in the spirit. He will weaken you in the spirit. So, you, you see... You will work hard for it, but you will never. Have you seen our people? How they are dying? It's because of what is happening here right now. You need to come out of that pain. If you don't come out, I tell you, you never have longevity of life. And that is why we have some of these retreat programs, is to open your eyes because there's a turbulence, there's rearrangement, there's revision, there's reorganization. There's rerouting of situations and circumstances in order to create a path in your desire miracles in the Lord. So I pray in the name of Jesus that God will do rearrangements in your life. Revision. Reorganization. So that God will pre create new path of miracles in your life. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. Let us say, say Amen. amen.